I've got my table on its side. I've got two um, three and three quarter. These are three and three quarter wide, three quarter inch thick by about seven foot six boards. So they run about six inches long on each end. And uh, that's fine because I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a butt joint with a couple of dowels on the end. So I've got it, uh, it's looking pretty good. I mean, I'm, I can't complain about the way things are. The boards, after I got done uh, planning them, and joining them and doing all that good stuff, um, I've got a splice right there in the middle uh, that I'm gonna, it's not uh, glued together yet. I'm just gonna use uh, this to, to hold it together. I'm going to glue it in place with four dowels in that joint. And then as you can see down there on the end, I'm going to also dowel it into the box as well. So I'm going to do a series of a, a series of, of uh, joints every every place there's a rib and I'm hoping that that's going to work out for me space, spacing wise so and then I want to do on top of that a second row up near the top edge so double dowel joints in each rib but one just to start now um, so there'll be no screws or anything holding this together just dowels and uh, glues and clamp pressure. Uh, the dowels are more or less to make it behave. Uh, I've, I've got the, the, everything clamped in place, but uh, with anything this long, uh, this long a board, you've got some curling and cupping, I shouldn't say cupping, but uh, You know it's it's curved and so I'm having to pull it into place with the clamps but it's not taking a lot so I'm going to work on the far board first here do my thing with that and then once I get that clamped and down I'll glue up the dowels push that board in make sure it's tight uh, you know and I've got a good joint there and then uh, start clamping that one in place as well. So wish me luck. Okay, I don't want this thing moving on me, so I've got it clamped with my rapid action clamp. And I'm registering off the rib right here to this part of the jig, and it works out perfect. So I'll just take and drill this one for you. Using my drill again as, as a stop. Keep going down the line until I get to that splice, and uh, these these will hold this in place, and then I'll get some glue on this one. And keep working. Side one uh, skirt board is attached here, so I've rolled over my piece, and I've. Just got this second side temporarily clamped. I'm going to have to put more clamps in here to pull this down when I get glue behind it. But I'm going to get as many of these dowels done as I can on these ribs. Um, and I've decided against doing a second row of dowels. I want to give this uh, 
and what a, a chance to move. So dowels on the bottom is all on, on, on these and then when I get these pieces in here and cut, I will double dowel those because those are going in the same species and there's not as much here for this to hold. There's no uh, skirt or a rib out here. So I want to get give this something so it doesn't get kicked in. Uh, it's looking good so far. I like the way it's turning out. I've got a lot of work ahead of me. I want to get this piece on, get the two end pieces on, then get it rolled back over so I can start putting these pieces on here. And then uh, I've got a lot of sanding in my future again. But, Time to get to work, so like I said, I'll get those dowels going and, and get to work on these end pieces as well. The one thing I forgot to mention is that this board is going down as one piece. I glued these two pieces together, doweled and glued these two pieces together and uh, pulled it and clamped it. Uh, much better results than this side. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to do a little work on that side to get that to look nice. But this side it's, that is definitely much better. So I have one board here this time instead of, instead of gluing down one board and then, and then trying to attach the other one and glue it together at the same time. So if you do do this and you make this piece, I would suggest that you get Get your board glued together, or if you can't get one long board, that'd be probably fine too. But much better results with the one piece rather than rather than two.
good. Now I'll fit this end and uh, glue her up too. Okay, I got this dry fitted into place. I like the fit. So I'm going to take her off and uh, I've made a, a, glue, a mark for my glue line already. So I'll put some glue on this baby.
flush. This is just a little. Let me give this a tap if I can here. Onward. This is always one of those nervous times. You've got to make a hand cut here. And uh, what I've done is put two layers of blue tape there to give me a bit of a shim away from the board so that, because this is not a flush cut saw. So. I've got my line established by just gently pulling my saw and now the trick for me is just to keep this thing straight through the whole cut. sander. Just got a little bit of a lip there, which is what I wanted. And I got it straight. <laughs> so that's good. I roll it over and do the other two cuts. I don't want to bore you with sanding, but this thing makes quick work of flushing up these ends, these edges. I've got it pretty well taken care of, so I just went you know, back and forth this way, and this was a little high, the, the end grain. Same with this one out here. But that took it right down, went across the top this way, flush these up. And then finished up this way to take those sanding marks out. I don't know of any other sanding block that would have done that for me. edge yet. I'm just going to chamfer that. Well, what I'm going to do, I know this is going to get rounded here. And I've got to put those, I've got to put a 
corner piece in here to cover up this. I think that'll just be some eighth inch cherry I got laying around. I'll just put that up on there. And then the, probably tomorrow I'll start working on my top here. Putting my, my edge around that. Alright, got some cleanup to do, so I better get busy before my lovely wife gets home.